Welcome to Hamshack Reviews. My name is Vince, and today I want to show you how to use the Log Analyzer 3.2. This is a QSO Map Adventure Radio .de program. And what you're going to want to do is come down here. Is where you put in your file. You could put in an ADIF, a Cabrillo, or these other formats. Click Choose. It'll take you to where your things are. Now I'm going to pick a recent 10 meter contest I did. Then you got a few more things. You got to put your call sign in and your grid square. And this gives you circle lines. I'm going to uncheck it, but I'll show it to you later. Now you can pick by band, mode, or none. I'm going to leave that on none. I'm going to leave this on all bands. But you can see you can pick your bands. You can pick your mode. Here's the time frame for the log. You can adjust this according to your log or you can just leave it generic. This is from the 1900s up until today, UTC time. So that covers all my ham experience. Now right here, this attention is important. It says, attention, the longer the logbook time period, the longer the software needs to calculate. That also goes for how many contacts you have. I recently uploaded a, a log that was over 11,000 contacts and it took about 12 to 15 minutes. Then you click OK. Now while this is loading here, you may get a window before this screen that gives you two choices to either continue or to cancel just keep clicking continue until your log until this screen here opens up now this was the recent ARRL 10 meter contest and I only did like 108 contacts you see I got quite a few contacts out to Europe I got quite a few out to the north and I had some down to the south as well now up here you got your QSO marker. This is where you could change your pins. You could change standard pins. You could put all bands, which this log only had 10 meter in it. That's why that's the only choice that's coming up. And then you got statistics, work countries, and all this stuff. And you click work countries. It gives you a list of the countries you worked in this contest. And then you go down, you got your lines. You can change your lines. Let me bring this back up. You can change your lines. I got it on thick line right here. You could go to thin line. I prefer the thick line. You can put a hundred kilometer circles around. And that's how you can calculate, help you calculate the distance. I'm not a big fan of that, but it's a nice feature. Then then you got work countries, then you got work squares. These are the grid squares I worked during the contest. Now these three boxes here, you can change your grid color, your line color, or your location color by the actual color chart. There's a color chart you can look up and get these numbers. And now a feature I like up here is you could change your map. You could change it to just cities. You got lighthouses, parks, islands. You got a night view, which is neat, but the lines don't stick out too good, especially if they're the thin ones. You got a satellite view, and then you got topo, which is a topographical, which gives you your different textures of the Earth's surface. Now you can move this around if you need to. You can spin your mouse wheel and change the size as well as you can down here. This also lets you drag Pegman onto the screen. I'm going to put this map back because this is the one I favor. And that's pretty much it. This is a neat feature. This is a great thing. Then you can save this image and put it on your QRZ page or put it on your QSL cards. And it's just a, a, a neat thing to have. I hope you find this useful. Please remember to subscribe. Ding that bell to catch all my videos, and a like and a share is always appreciated. 73.